Um, Good morning, GCHS. This is Wednesday, April 22nd with your morning announcements. Um, like I stated yesterday, there are a lot of repeat announcements, so just bear with me because they are important. From the desk of Mr. Peters, seniors, you need to check your email for a Zoom meeting with Mr. Peters. This meeting will take place Friday. Good morning, GCHS. This is Wednesday, April 22nd with your morning announcements. Um, like I stated yesterday, there are a lot of repeat announcements, so just bear with me because they are important. From the desk of Mr. Peters, seniors, you need to check your email for a Zoom meeting with Mr. Peters. This meeting will take place Friday at noon. Seniors commencement has not been canceled yet. Our school is very aware of the situation in our country and will wait to make a decision about commencement later. Seniors, you also need to check your cafeteria account and library books and take care of those situations. Announcement from the bookstore. Fee invoices were sent to all student guardians via email last week. Amounts owed also show for each student and on, on family student access and can be paid direct from there or you can go to this website that I'll post. Payments can also be sent to the school address. <clears throat> Prom has been postponed as of right now. Um, a decision about that will be made later. Senior 21st Century Scholars, you should have received an email. There's a form that you need to fill out. If you have any questions, contact Mrs. Hurd. Work permits will be processed during the quarantine. You need your intent to employ card filled out by the employer. Then you need your birth date and place of birth. After you have all that information, you need to contact Mrs. Mentz or Mr. Peters through email and a work permit will be processed and returned to your employer. Only students who are under the age of 18 need a work permit. Last couple weeks, we've been having some special announcements. This week, uh, our special announcement is Jim Morris. Mr. Morris was portrayed in the movie The Rookie, where he was a high school baseball coach and then tried out for the major leagues and got onto a roster with the Devil Rays and pitched as a relief pitcher. Hope you enjoy. Good morning, Greensburg High School students. I hope everybody's safe and well. My name is Jim Morris. You may not recognize me, but I am a former Major League Baseball player. A movie was made about me, The Rookie, starring Dennis Quaid. He played me. And let me tell you a little bit. You know what? We're all scared right now. We're all out of sorts. We're all doing different things. And I hope everybody's studying hard and you're keeping up with everything. But it's not just you that's affected. Everybody's affected. This is not a, a me thing. This is a we thing. We are in this together as a team worldwide. And so let's not talk about that anymore. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. If you've seen the movie The Rookie, you may understand that I failed a couple times before I ever got to Major League Baseball. And I got there because of a group of high school kids that everybody had counted out. They didn't win. I'm in Big Lake, Texas. If you've ever been to Big Lake and there is no reason to go there, just let me tell you a little bit about my story. A group of high school kids in West Texas. After a surgeon had told me you will never ever pitch again, my baseball team made a bet with me. If we win a district championship, you go try out. All right, I'll do that. They won. And by the time I got to the tryout, I couldn't even get high school kids out. My team was hitting me everywhere. And I thought, all right, you're 35, you've had nine surgeries, you weigh 260 pounds. This is gonna be a joke. I get to the tryout, nobody wants to play catch with me or warm up. I'm out of sorts. It's a different world for me. I'm used to being in a classroom teaching or on a baseball field coaching kids. And now everything is about me and I'm back out there in the real world. The scout finally lets me try out. I throw, he shakes his radar gun, and I think, man, I don't even throw hard enough to register. How's that gonna work? And by the time I get done, he meets me at my car and he goes, you were throwing 98 miles an hour which is kind of different because when I was young and I was supposed to be really talented, I threw 87 or 88, and I threw decent. I was a lefty. My ball moved a lot. But now, after a surgery in which the doctor said you will never, ever pitch again physically impossible, I'm throwing 12 miles an hour harder. I have control. I've picked up pitches that I never had before, and I've impressed a major league scout all 
because of a group of high school students who nobody believed in. And when I pushed them, they pushed back. It doesn't matter how young or old you are. What we've got to do is dream and dream big. The old normal may not be normal anymore. We may have to look to the new normal, and we don't know what that is yet. But dreams come true. After that bet, and I go to the tryout, I go back for another tryout. Half my baseball team's there, and my kids. In pouring rain, with a new baseball every pitch, 98 again. I sign a contract. And the teachers may find this funny if they're listening. When I signed that contract, it was a minor league contract, and I took a pay cut from teaching to play minor league baseball. Well, everybody knows everybody gets into teaching to get rich. Kidding. So I go back, I'm in the minor leagues. Three months later, I make my first appearance back in my home state in my favorite ballpark in Arlington, Texas. And we're facing the Texas Rangers who are in first place. Johnny Oates, the opposing manager, let 150 people in the game that day that had ties to me because all these people wanted to come and see the guy who made a bet and lived it out. You see, my grandfather always taught me if you ever make a promise, you live up to that promise because at the end of the day when you pass away, you're going to be remembered for one thing. Did you tell the truth? Did you live up to your word? Were you true to what you said? It's not talking the talk that matters, it's walking the walk. And now I'm walking and jogging in from a major league bullpen to face a major league hitter six months after I make a bet with my high school kids. My high school kids are in attendance the first time I've seen them in three months, first time I see my kids in three months. I face an all-star as my first hitter, Royce Clayton. Now, this is a part you're going to find funny. People always want to know, what is the difference between real life and the movie? Well, in real life, he swings at strike one, 98, takes strike two, 98, fouls the third pitch off over the first base dugout, again, 98, and strikes out on the fourth pitch. On the movie set, we tried to get the actor to foul off the ball for eight hours one day, and after eight hours, the director looked at me and said, you know what? You struck him out in three pitches. I'm like, wow, I'm getting even better. Dreams come true, and sometimes we have setbacks, but that's to open the door to something bigger and better. We're going to learn from this. We're going to be bigger and better. And it doesn't matter if you're young. It doesn't matter if you're old. We all have the ability for second chances. We have the ability to dream big. And we have the ability to have the heart that's going to put that drive in us that makes us go the next step. What step are you looking for going forward? You know, I miss being in a classroom. I miss talking to my kids. I miss learning something from them every single day. You guys are important. You're our future. We're looking at you to take us to the next big, better dream. We've messed a lot of stuff up, and it's going to be up to you guys to repair it. I have faith in you. My grandfather taught me a lot of lessons in my life. The most important thing was looking people in the eye, talking to them. He always told me the most important person at any given time is the person standing in front of you right now. They deserve 100% of your attention because you would want the same from them. So remember that when you're at home on your phones or computers, looking at your teacher, trying to learn lessons. This is important stuff. And we're going through a lot right now as a world, not individually. See, one of the biggest lessons I ever taught my team was one player doesn't make a team. And it's not just the starters on the team that matter. The guys on the bench matter. The scorekeepers matter. The athletic trainers matter. The parents and the fans who come to see us play matter. We don't just represent ourselves when we go out in public. We represent our team. We represent our school. We represent our city, our state, and everything else that goes along with who we are, Greensburg High School in Indiana. And I want you to remember that. My high school football coach always talked to us and taught us how to be men. 
And one of his biggest lessons to me was if you have a better plan and more heart than the other person, you're going to win. We won a state championship my senior year, and we weren't the best team on the field. We weren't the biggest, we weren't the fastest, and we weren't the strongest. But we knew what they were going to do before they did it. And so we stopped them, and we won. You're going to come out on this on the other side, and you're going to win. If you have a better plan and more heart, I wish you guys the best of luck. We're all in this together. Students, janitors, teachers, people in the front office, our school board. We all want normal again. And we want bigger and better dreams. If you remember nothing else out of this, remember what my grandfather taught me every day when I walked out of his door to go to school. Remember who you are and whose you are. Remembering who you are will dictate how far you go in this world. You can take whose you are and put whatever you want in there. My grandparents instilled a lot of faith in me when I lived with them for three years in high school. They saved me. We are going to learn. We are going to get smarter. We are going to get better. And we're going to have a better plan and more heart. I hope you guys are back in the classroom and on the sports field soon enough, or whether you're in choir or band, it doesn't matter because it's not me, it's we. Let's get out there and go do this. Remember who you are. Good luck. I'll be praying for you. Thank you. Have a great day and be sure to follow us on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram at GCHS Pirates and give GTV Radio a listen on live365.com.